السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. The month of Ramadan, the month of mercy, the month of forgiveness is a month of revelation of the Holy Quran. Yes. شهر رمضان الله says in the Quran. The month of Ramadan الذي أنزل فيه القرآن. The month of Ramadan is the month that Allah the Quran was revealed. So since the Quran was revealed in the month of Ramadan, we find in the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and in the stories of the pious predecessors that they used to spend a lot of time reading the Holy Quran. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam actually the year that he passed away, he recited the whole Quran from beginning till end twice. Two khatam of the Holy Quran the Prophet did in the final year, the year that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam you know left the wall on that year. So it's the month of Ramadan, it's the month of revelation. Many other revelation was revealed in the month of Ramadan. Taurat, Zabur, etc. also mentioned as well that it, its revelation happened also in the month of Ramadan. Now when it comes to reciting the Quran, there are various types of reciters. Some of them are expert reciters. If you are an expert reciter, you should make intention, inshallah, that you will do one khatam, one complete. Quran you will read inshallah if you are not an expert reciter okay but you could recite the Quran but you're not an expert reciter you recite slowly but you recite accurately then you don't you don't have to worry that I have to finish the whole Quran your intention is supposed to be that I will recite much as I can inshallah ta'ala make a plan okay that I will recite in the night I will recite at the time of suhoor when you have suhoor yeah I will recite before iftar and throughout the whole day whenever I find time okay I will inshallah ta'ala make you know recite the Quran now what you need to do is make a timetable when we have a timetable then that will be very easy to follow right the intentions shouldn't be that I have to complete Remember, it's not about just completing the Holy Quran, okay? People have this, uh, you know, a desire that I need to complete and they take great joy by saying that I have completed the Quran. It's a praiseworthy thing because you have done an act of worship as well. But we need to learn how to recite the Quran correctly, accurately, articulate every letters from its makhraj, from the points of articulation. Okay, we don't want to pronounce something incorrectly. Imagine if you have a name, okay, and if someone mispronounces your name, you get offended, right? Okay, so why is it that when we recite the Quran, we are mispronouncing, we are not pronouncing it correctly, and we are not doing anything about it as well? Okay, we're not going to get the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if we continue to do this. So, our intention, inshallah ta'ala, should be that we will learn how to recite the Quran in this month of Ramadan, brothers and sisters, inshallah ta'ala, we all will try this. Inshallah, this intention that we're going to have, we're going to learn how to recite. We're going to learn from someone, learn from an expert. If needed, enroll yourself to any places that are available so that we could learn how to le you know, articulate uh, the letters of the Quran correctly so that when we will recite, we'll get the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, if you are one of those that who doesn't know how to recite the Quran, then don't worry about it, okay? The only worry you should have is that when you're going to get started, inshallah ta'ala, Okay, it's never too late to learn how to recite the Quran. Allah has made the recitation of the Quran very easy. The letters, they look very scary. They look like, you know, it's very difficult to learn. But believe me, it is very easy to learn. Because Islam is not only for the people of India and Pakistan and Bangladesh. It's for everyone, for all culture, for all background, people of all languages. Therefore, Arabic has to be an easy language. We're not talking about speaking Arabic. We're talking about the recitation of the Quran. وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكْرِ we have made the rest, we have made the Quran very easy to for remembrance for for memorization is there anyone who is there to take heed that's what Allah says in the Holy Quran so therefore inshallah ta'ala we will make intention that we will learn how to recite in this month of Ramadan let's make the Ramadan into a madrasa into where we will attend two hours a day or an hour a day inshallah we will learn the alphabet alphabets we will learn the letters and we will learn how to recite the Quran so at the end of the month of Ramadan we will know how to recite the Quran inshallah that will be an achievement so we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us all the tawfiq to recite the Quran accurately to finish a khatam of the Quran in the month of Ramadan inshallah for those who could read correctly and those who can't read uh, fast enough inshallah but they could recite inshallah we will recite much as we can but with perfect articulation and those of us we don't know how to recite we will learn inshallah in the month of Ramadan how to recite the book of Allah the last testament sent for the guidance of mankind may Allah give us all the tawfiq to learn how to recite the Quran correctly and to recite it accurately Jazakumullahu khairan wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh